Sunday morning is my long run day. I usually run a half marathon every Sunday morning. In New Brunswick, we had the extreme cold, we got snow, ice, sleet, uh, extreme heat, the sun. Therefore, when I run marathons anywhere, it doesn't matter what, I've been through it, so I can handle it. I usually run about three marathons a year. I don't know if there's any really words to use to describe my dad. He's uh, very passionate. He's always been the first person to want to help others ever since I can remember. He was always the first one to give a helping hand, and he's still like that today. Ron joined us, uh, our nights in Grand Dig, about uh, a little over six years ago. He was very active in our council and, uh, and in the community. My faith was very, very important to me. I have a good relationship with my church. When I joined the Knights of Columbus, it really changed my life because it gave me an opportunity to not only to grow my faith, but to express and to, to share my faith with other people, and especially people in need. One night at the uh, Knights of Columbus meeting, the school director came there in a in a passionate way to uh, say, listen, we have a problem at our school. There's a lot more kids coming in that have nothing or hardly anything to eat in their lunchbox. So she pleaded for us as uh, the Knights of Columbus to, uh, to help us out. This bothered Ron very much. He thought of it for a day or so, and he come up with the idea of a uh, lunchbox grandpa, Pepe bois de lunch in French. At the time, Ron was uh, on his last trainings for his first marathon in New York. And so he wanted to run the marathon as a fundraiser to help the school fund, uh, lunch fund. I ran New York, and then after nine weeks, I had already collected $7,600 for the school, which paid for the whole year program. And it's been growing ever since. And uh, right now, we're looking after eight schools. And I think we just surpassed a $60,000 mark. Without Pepe Al Boite lunch, there would be a lot of kids that would go without any lunches. Even a little community in Canada, New Brunswick, there's always poverty everywhere you go. A hero is someone who will help others. Let's say like Pepe Al Boite lunch. It makes you feel good to know that somebody is helping people who are hungry and need. He helps, like, this school, and in his honor, we even have a frame with one of his shirts, so it's very a uh, big honor to keep him forever here with us. Knowing that Ron raises money uh, while doing marathons, the, the idea just dawned on us, how about we organize a marathon where the kids, the running club, can run relays. So it's an ongoing thing now that uh, we're blending, giving back to the community, thanking a, a great person for everything he's done for the school and encouraging kids to be active. Everything has come from the heart. And I have a lot of help here. My whole Lunchbox program is all because of the Knights of Columbus. We always are on the lookout for somebody in need. An everyday hero would be somebody who does things with no intention of getting the recognition or needing that pat on the back. Somebody who sees a need and finds a way to fill the need. And my dad is just a perfect example of an everyday hero. It doesn't matter if we're helping the kids in school or the older people stay in their own home. It's, it's all the same. Giving and sharing is, is the model. With the Knights of Columbus, it really gave me everything that I need to be a better person. And as a better person, I can do more for others. That's my way of expressing my faith. <laughs>